Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. So well, you today I'm going to be cooking this fish. I'm going to do a barbecue. But like I said, my own cooking is my own style. I'm not going to copy, copy, do copycats. It's my own way of cooking. So I'm going to have, I have these two, three fish here. You see how, how big they look. So I'm going to be doing barbecue on this fish. So let's get started. So what I'll be using for this barbecue is this. I'll show you how we using this onions and big red pepper and also I'll be using this one as well this is uh, turmeric this is curry this is rosemary and this is um I think they call it shaking spice so I'm just using it for my barbecue fish you can use any spice of your of your choice but I decided to use this spice because this is what I have in my house so the first thing i'm going to do here is this i'm going to blend it together so the next step for me to do is to now um pour some oil on this i'm going to use this oil tiny bits of oil just going to pour it around you can use a vegetable oil to to do it So, having done this now, I will keep this apart first. Next step, I have a batter here. I'm going to pour some little bit of oil on this. Just a little bit of oil. Then, having poured oil inside this, the next step, remember I told you, friends, that I'm going to blend some onions and some. Uh, this is the onions and this is the red pepper. I'm going to pour it inside here. Then it's on high heat. You can see the heat is high. Then what I'll do, I'll just stir it like so. I won't put in my ingredients yet. I'll just let it steam a bit. While that is cooking, the next step, I will now take my fish. Let me put my camera closer to my fish. Yeah, my fish. I will take my big knife. Here like so the fish is washed and it's clean so I'm going to use my knife to start creating a space in between the flesh of the fish because I want everything to soak into the fish while you are doing this you have to be careful while you're doing this so that you won't cut your hands. Turn the other side like so. I'll do the same thing as well. I'll just open the flesh. On to the last side and I'll open it like so. So you can see, you can see the flesh. Everything is open. You can see it's all open, and the other side as well is open, and inside as well is open. So I'm going to do this same method on the other fish. So now, this is the fish, all cleaned 
ng wash. So I'm going to arrange it. Like so. It's all arranged. So the next step is I'm going to check on my tomatoes. Sorry, I'll visit my, my onions and all my spices. So I'm just going to stir this. Like I said, this is my own way of doing my own barbecue. It's a different pattern I'm using. I'm not using other people's method. I'm just this is my own pattern which I'm using at the moment so you can see it's cooking so now the spice i have here i'm going to pour everything inside here let me keep this down so i can rinse it in Then my four maggi cube, you can make yours two or four. So I'm going to peel it and let it go in. Make sure you stir yours properly. Everything's well mixed. Like I said, this is my own method. A lot of people do it differently, but this way I'm going to cook mine. Then you test it. Make sure your sauce is very tasty. You just go to test it. I'll add a little bit of one more maggie cube. So we should just let it cook for the next uh, five minutes and I'll take it off. So this is my fish here. So I have the oil which I'm going to use to rub the body of the fish. Like I said, this is my method which I'm using. People, different people have their own method, but I'm using this method for myself. So the oil here is uh, vegetable oil. This oil, I bought it in Asda, so it's a vegetable oil which you can see easily on the shop. So now, I'm going to start adding my sauce to it. You see my sauce here? I'm going to start adding it to it. I'm going to put the sauce into the into the skin and inside of the fish because I want the sauce to soak inside you know so I'm going to flip on the other side of the fish like so 
and I'll stuff the sauce inside it inside the skin of the fish I can go in and get the salt So I'm going to be doing that, I'm just going to be using the sauce to paint the fish. Then I'll flip it on the other side, I need to paint the fish body. I did this I'm going to apply the same method on this method and on this side so my friends I've already marinated the fish I put all my fell sauce in and I'll stuff everything in so because I don't have clean um what they, what they, what they call it forgotten so I'll be using my own method to steam this fish to be cooked so what I have is my pizza plate which I'm going to use to cover it so I'm just using what I have in my house. Uh, hope everybody knows this. This is to cover it as well. So now that it's like this, I'm going to leave it in my oven for. I'm not going to switch on my oven. I'm just going to put it in, then leave it the maybe in six hours time. So by then, all the sauce will have soaked into the flesh of the fish. So when it's after six hours, I'll now switch on my oven, then I'll now slow bake it. So but for now, I'm not going to switch on my oven. I'm just going to leave it like this the next six hours. So why it's like this? I'll just take it in into my oven. Then by six hours time, I'll now switch it on. So I've left that in my oven so like I said in six hours time I'll switch it on then by then all the nutrients all the sweetness from the sauce of the pepper or so of the the fish without soaking to the fish then I'll now switch on the oven and bake it so my friends it's now six hours so now I'm going to put the fish into the oven to start cooking so I'm going to cover it like I said, like so. Because so this is what I have in my house. But if you have um wrap, you can wrap it. But this is what I have, so I'm going to be using this. So I'm gonna be opening my oven. I don't know if you can see it because uh, it's small. Yeah, open it. Then it's so heavy. I'm going to stick it in. So now you can see it's inside the oven. You can see it's inside the pretty day. So I'm going to close this then turn it to 250 at the beginning. Then to the highest heat. So I'm going to wait for it to cook. So I'll be checking it regularly. So I'm gonna wait, yeah. So my friends, this is the end of the fish. Uh, like I said, my kitchen is really small. So this is how the fish looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. So this is the end product of the fish. And I'm going to make a yam to eat this fish with a Yes. 
so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to make a yam you know you know uh i made this yesterday so i was so tired i didn't finish it so now i'm going to make a wool this one is a wool i don't know if you guys know this this is potash with uh, with the sauce i made with the fish the many sauce so now i'm going to add some palm oil to it i don't know if you guys can see remember Uwo. in my place we call it uwo. i'm just going to use this to eat the the sauce of the with the fish and the yam i'm going to have more palm oil to it because when you have more palm oil to it there you get the really native taste you know? so so this one will be the sauce for the yam which i'll be using to eat the yam and it's black yeah it's black because i had it uh mm, very tasty i had it, what they call potash or in my place they call it cow to eat so this is for the yam sauce so the next thing is this yam i'm going to cut it and boil it and use to eat the fish so my friends this is the end product of the food and i'm going to eat this food in my mouth so i hope i see you in my next vlog so for now one peace one love and bye for now bye for now